Pues es un orgullo regresar a una organización que representa la justicia y la voz de aquella persona que no tiene voz, pero sí vale y cuenta. Así que hoy del gran estado de Nevada y el pueblo adoptado mío de Las Vegas, les doy un cordial saludo y bienvenidos a todos que están en LULAC. And since English is my second language, I welcome you to the great state of Nevada, to a city that I've adopted, of which I live. It is wonderful for me to return to LULAC, for LULAC is not something strange, but rather a relationship. It started with Margaret Moran and many others in the past, many of you who are in this room, when I first started as an activist, with my desire to help and improve the lives of our children. LULAC stands for those that don't have a voice, but the, actually not because that they're voiceless, but because they count. Like the people who have served us today, to the people that are still picking some fields somewhere, making somebody's bed, traveling in the back of a truck, or being tortured in many cases, abused. Because when they use the word la migra, it causes so many to not use that voice because they have to make a choice. A choice between feeding their families, mandando aquello allá. And so who speaks for them? To you young people who are in this room, You heard our senator speak. He's a senator today, not because of his smarts, that helps, but because of his madre, because of his padre. And to you young people in this room, nuestra gran herencia, for you are our greatest heritage. The reason you're in this room today is because we have cleaned plenty of floor, we have scrubbed many a floor, we have cleaned and taken care of everybody else's children, and today it is time for you to be in this room, and now I challenge you to step up and lead this country. It's your turn. So you're in this room to be among those who have been legendary. I proudly wore the uniform for 20 years of my life in the United States Army. To all veterans of all services, to my brothers and sisters, and to those who have fallen and are not with us today, please, young people, When you think about what freedom means, there's a price that had to be paid. Like a brother I had in Nam, or a brother in Okinawa, or a sister in Desert Storm. And so I asked all our veterans who are here today to please stand and let us, a grateful nation, tell you, gracias, gracias, you will never be forgotten. Parense nuestros veteranos. There they are. Welcome home. Gracias. Well, I have been told that I only have three minutes. Try to tell a Latina que se calle. But I do, because you have a lot of things to do, but I promise I'll be with you in New York. Yeah, I promise. But let me just tell you what, 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 a, what quick story, and then I'm going to get out. Especially to the young people. You heard our brother from Exxon speak about education and, and the value. Well, I tell you this quick story. There was a time when my papi, 
who was a day laborer. And I went up to him as a high school student. And I said, al jefe, papá, necesito diez dólares. I need $10 for sports. And for my father, that could have been a million dollars. He said, bueno, hija, pues vamos a ganarlo. Let's go earn it. A ver si te dan trabajo a ti también. So we went and we got a job for the day cleaning a warehouse, una bodega, en Laredo, Texas. It was a hundred and some degrees. There was no water. And my father was, when he took his shirt off, I saw the cicatrices, the scars from being a coal miner. Dijándole, no importa, vamos a hacer un buen trabajo. We're going to do a good job. But a guy opened the door. He was a general manager of the place, and it was air conditioned. But the man came out, and right away he asked my dad, you know, typical business guy, Castillo, cuánto? As he looked at his Rolex watch. But my father taught me, and I think that's what we're trying to teach our young people today. Educado y preparado. There's a difference. To be educated and to have manners. My father stopped the man and he said, Primeramente le saludo. I give you my greeting. Y le presento a mi hija. Consuelo. But when the man shook my hand, I'll be very honest, young people. I had never shaken the hand of a man with such soft hands. Este vato no hace nada. Está más flojo que la fregada. But that's because I didn't know. I don't know what a professional does. All my life, he jalado en la calle. Well, needless to say, the man took off and we worked all day. And at the end of the day, the question was asked, ¿Cuánto? And, I, and young people, don't forget this. If you don't get educated, somebody will put a price on your head. Because my daddy, Mi lindo padre, the only thing he could answer was, no sé lo que valgo, I don't know what I'm worth, no más sé hacer un buen trabajo, but I do know how to do a good job. Usted, que se ha educado, since you're the one in charge, pues usted me diga cuánto valgo, then you tell me how much my work is worth. And that's why LULAC, so important because that day for a child like me and an old man we made ten dollars for 12 hours of labor but when you're this chavalita you think ten dollars man that's a million dollars that's a lot of fritos con chile limon and I wanted to drop out of school. So I leave you with this. My dad said, ¿Qué pasó? I said, papi, hice mis notas. If I go work with you tomorrow, 10 plus 10, we make 20. He said, ¿Así usted lo que usted cree? Sí, papá. ¿Usted sabe matemática? I know math. He said, a ver, let me show you my math. Yeah, that must be barrio math, because I don't know any other math. <laughs> and he said, levante este papel. He said, oh, levante esto. He said, la vida, hija, es de papelitos. Lives of papers. Este, cuando nació, y este no lo va a ver, porque para que va a morir, también lo quieren en papel. He said, but you know what life is about, Chelo? Life's about getting as many pieces of paper between these two papers. And so young people, get those pinche papelitos. Okay? Get them. Get them. But don't forget, if somebody's working and you don't have water for them, and you don't have la educación, to say buenas tardes, 
then we haven't moved forward. Because no matter how high we ha go, no matter how much rank I achieved or how successful I am, I'll always be Chelo from El Rincón del Diablo de Laredo, Texas. God bless you, Lulac. Take care. Adios.